See, man, it wasn't the woman, but it was the other woman. You know what I'm saying? Not really. I just can't believe you'd lie to me. You must hate me so much right now. I don't hate you at all. I, I got all of that out of my system with that one. How can you be so amazing? You could be friends with your husband's mistress. Yeah, it's like a dream come true. Ignore her. She's just working through some stuff right now. She's in trouble. But you smell amazing. What is that? Uh, I think it's just sweat. This movie looks like it was designed in a test tube that was made in like a lab that also makes like cupcake flavored lip gloss. What is this, Matt? Where is this lab? New Jersey. That's a weird place for it. Mm -hmm. This one actually comes from the director of The Notebook, which I'm surprised they're not promoting more strongly because I feel like there's so many people who love The Notebook for sure. and are like, oh, what? I'm there immediately. Yeah. I actually think The Notebook is overrated. I have maximum feelings. I cry every time I see it. Um, have you seen The Notebook? You're just trying wait, to fit, no, you're just trying wait, to wait, 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 wait. I saw it once, but I was on a date, so I didn't really see it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You're in the lobby getting popcorn. Yeah, she went home early. Uh, I think Dear John is actually kind of an underrated Nicholas Sparks movie. Really? Yeah. But just so you know, the other woman, not a Nicholas Sparks movie, for uh, the record. Just the same director, which doesn't really count for that much. It's good to know. So what is this movie actually about? This movie is about Cameron Diaz is dating this guy, played by Nikolai Coster Waldau from... Game of Thrones. Sure. Yeah. I think right? he wrestled Sting once. <laughs> <laughs> that I would see. Yeah. <laughs> she f she's dating him. She's happy. Then she finds out, whoops, he's married to Leslie Mann. And then Leslie Mann's like, I totally need to be friends with Cameron Diaz because I have no one else to talk to about this. Your facial expression is right on about that. Yeah. Of course. You're not really buying it. Then they find out that he's also sleeping with Kate Upton. And when they tell her that, she's like, oh, I totally want to be best friends with you guys, too. We should all hang out and get revenge on him. Again, your face is right. Yeah. This movie is just a series of things that you don't really buy with a lot of performances that you're not really getting into either. And they're just like, okay, who thought this was a good idea? Nobody. Someone. Not me. You were wrong, person. <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> you mentioned something about the cast. Obviously, three big names in the world. How do they work together? Do they work together? They do not work together. This is such an example of a movie where the performances are on three different levels for the leads. Leslie Mann, do you like Leslie Mann? Yeah. I, 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 I think love she's Leslie playing Mann. the same role in every movie now, though. That's true, and you could definitely tell in The Other Woman, they're trying to get maximum entertainment for, mm. like, even when her character's really sad, she's still going to be kind of funny, because right. Leslie Mann, Leslie Mann's great. She is great. She seems right and honest in whatever you see her in. Right. But Cameron Diaz is just totally checked out of this movie. I don't blame her based on the story. Right. But you know what, Cameron Diaz, I feel like is a little bit past her prime as an actress in terms of getting the roles that she really would be excited about, mm -hmm. something different. Uh, yeah, she just does not work in this movie. And then Kate Upton, I mean. Really? Really? As an actress. The only thing I'm saying is that she ain't tough to look at. I don't think anyone's saying that, but here's the thing. Are you telling me there was no one else with s sort of comparable measurements to Kate Upton that could have played this role and actually, you know, knew how to act? Is that asking a lot? No. I mean, we see stunt casting of models periodically. I mean, think about Brooklyn Decker and just go with it. Where I think the entire need for that character was slow motion walk out of the ocean. Good walk, which I did though. not intend to rhyme, it I was, promise. Yeah, it was, it was actually kind of dope. And that walk, though. You know what? You can find these models who will give you a good slow motion walk for sure. But... Think about how the movie is going to come out best. You can find another beautiful woman that is talented. Granted, this character in this movie is absolutely terrible. They, she starts in a bikini and she ends in a bikini, and it seems like they're trying not to let her talk in between. Wouldn't it be nice? I mean, this is from a female writer. Why doesn't the screenwriter say, let's actually show that this woman is more than her dimensions? That's very interesting because you usually hear that, you know, oh, they're writing roles improperly for women. But a woman wrote it. I didn't know that. Yeah. And totally not thinking that this person could be any more than just yeah. the googly eyes yeah. at the beach. Right, right, right. So granted, they didn't need someone that was going to really bring much to the table. But 
it would be nice to see you actually say, how can we make the movie the best, not maybe people will go see a movie starring Kate Upton? Which I don't think, no one's going to rush out. The target demographic is not going to be like, ooh, I have to go see this movie because Kate Upton's in it. She's not in it that much. And it's PG-13. Sell down. I know it's coming. I'm not upset about it. Matt, the other woman, good or what? Ernest, the other woman is worse than a what. This movie, I didn't, I, you can't discard a movie that Leslie Mann is in completely. I think the one or two times I laughed were because of her. Yeah. But man, this movie is awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful, awful. Dot com. All right, folks, that wraps up another edition of Good or What. My name is Ernest Wilkins. I'm Matt Pace. And we will see you next time.